What's up, comrades? How are you guys doing today? <clears throat> today, I'm doing another Storytime Saturday vlog. Yay! And in this video, I'm going to be going over how I got into model kits. So, basically, it all started when I was about... <laughs> ah, sorry, the ticks are kind of bad today. It started when I was about three years old. I was a small little boy. And my parents wanted to redo my room... And I, they said, "What do you want?" And I said, "And I said, I want a military style room." So they're like, "All right, chief, you will give you a military style room." And so they did. So basically, they re now now they redid it last year. It doesn't look the same, but I'm saying before they redid it, um, basically they painted it like a military. Um, <laughs> sorry. A military tan? Tan, I believe? A military tan. And, um, they put some pictures up of some military stuff. But, how I got into model kit is my parents bought me, well, they bought three types of models to hang from my ceiling. One of them was a gigantic B-29 built by my dad. And the other one was an American Vought Chance F4 Corsair. And the other was a, I believe, an F11 Tiger. Yeah, it was an F11 Tiger. So basically, um, I got those first three, but, but I didn't put them together. I was too young. I was too young. So my dad put those together, and they looked pretty great. They looked pretty great. So... Then, as time went on, you know, I mean, I was in the Legos. As time went on, I won Lego versions of my favorite. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Of my favorite World War II planes. And they didn't have them. Or they didn't have the Lego versions of the planes at the time. So, I was at a bit of a loss. <laughs> Sadly. But... That's when, later on, I started to actually get into real model kits. Um, before I f built my first one, there was one I got when I was, like, 10. And it was an American H, or it's, a, it's actually CH-46 Sea Knight helicopter. Now, I didn't put it together because I, we didn't have the cement glue that was needed. And I was young. We didn't really know how to put it together properly. So I didn't put that one together. Now I actually I still do have that. Um I might build that for one of my model kit Mondays if I can. I'm serious. I might actually put that together. I probably should. Not this Monday since I already have a model I'm working on which you will see on model kit Monday. But maybe the Monday after that I'll maybe build my helicopter so after that when I was about <laughs> was about ah sorry 12 12 I believe yeah 12 when I was 12 I got my first model kit that I put together by myself it was a North American F-86 Sabre Korean War fighter uh and yeah, I, that was one of my first kits I put together. I built it all by myself, and I assembled it. Now you're probably thinking, Ooh, Chief, show me the plane! Unfortunately, the front of the plane just... It, it broke. It broke. And with those model kits, it's not like a toy where you can just put it back together, or it's not like Legos. Like, it broke. And I didn't paint it since I... <laughs> Sorry. Since I didn't really paint my models that much, and I wasn't really good at... I wasn't really good at um, painting my models. Wasn't really the best at that, so I left it unpainted. But I may get another one in the future. But then my second model kit, which I still do have, but um, I, didn't, I didn't really... I got... I painted it when I was young, so I didn't paint it, like, 
professionally, you know, like with all the crazy paint schemes, I just painted a basic knife fire scheme, is a German Messerschmitt 262 fighter. Yeah, it's right here. This is my second model kit that I got and I put together. The only thing I didn't put on was the landing gear. Otherwise, I put that together. <laughs> Yay! And then from that, Sorry, like I said, the ticks are kind of rough, but from that point forward, I was then a model kit, so I really enjoyed building them, and stuff like that, and I've gotten several, like, Speed 51 Mustang, if you guys have seen my previous video, you probably know, um, where this is from, if you've seen my previous video, if you're new to the channel, um, you'll see it, it's an, it's another model vlog, and then my favorite, this, one of my favorite um, Cold War Jets, the F-9 Panther, F-9 Panther, yeah, this, you'll learn in another video why this is my favorite, I'll probably go over that in a list of my favorite jets slash airplanes video, but that won't be right now, this is strictly, the bottom, the, blah. the video I'm doing now is strictly about models, so, so that's how I got into models, now you're probably wondering, chief. How many models do you got? Well, I got quite a few. Some of them still need to be painted. Some of them still need to be built. Now, you're also probably wondering, do you do tanks? Yes, I actually do. And I will get one of my first model tanks right now. I'll be right back. Right, so here it is, guys. It's my M26 Pershing tank. My heavy um tank kit. And yeah, the... Uh, Oh, oh, this one is definitely what is, was not as hard to build as my, um, Panzer 8 mouse kit, mainly because the tracks are rubber. You can just, I apologize, mainly just, mainly because you just had to attach the suspension. Like I said, the rubber, the tracks, they're, they're rubber, so you basically just link them around the suspension gear or the wheel, the road wheels, and they basically, you, you glue the other part where the tread connects. Now, with the other one, the mouse, you have to put together every track piece. You heard me correctly. You have to put together every track piece. Assemble every link part. And it is a royal pain in the arse <laughs> i'm telling you like i was blessed when that pershing had the um the rubber tracks these other kits like if you get a um gosh what is it like if you get a japanese type 5 type 5 um chi re tank you're gonna have to assemble all the tracks and paint them and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's true hell. It's, <laughs> it is true hell sometimes along with that and and putting together everything else. It takes a while and I'm not finished with that mouse kit yet. Although when I do finish it, I will definitely do a video on it. <laughs> but trust me, when you get into tank kits, if if they don't give you those rubber tracks prepare to at least spend three days on your tank kit well maybe two maybe two of non-stop work because that's what it is that's what it is it is non-stop work oh my goodness but but hey it's worth it oh it's worth it now you guys are thinking you guys i think i already addressed why i got into model kits but Basically, now you're probably thinking, okay, Chief, you build these models, do, do you or do you not have the patience to build them? Planes, I do, because, uh, because for me, they're not as hard. Tanks? Good lord, I have to work on my patience so much with those, and it's not easy, not easy working with those tank kits, um... But it's but 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 it's worth it in the end. It's really worth it. It's fun. It's fun. You get the final product and stuff like now. Now also some of my um kits I have not painted just yet. That's because I'm experienced at the building. Now it's the painting with like because 
when I used to paint my planes, like you saw the um, Meshers Mid 262, I just used to slap on some paint. Now I'm trying to actually get better and basically put more detailed schemes, you know, to make it look better. Better, obviously. And that's what I'm working on. The Like I said, there's another model kit I'm going to... Actually, there is a model kit I'm working on right now. I'm going to reveal on Monday if it's finished by then. And you'll get to see that. Um, now, the paint, the paint scheme for that is pretty basic. Since it's pretty much just a black and gold. Nothing too crazy. You'll see it. Except if you paint the interior parts, which... I'm actually working on right now. I used to not paint my interiors and they look kind of crappy. Now I've started to actually face I had that and paint my interior, the interior cockpits and stuff like that. You know, to make it look nice. Gotta make it look presentable. So, yeah, that's how I got into model kits and how I'm working to become more experienced. Uh, alrighty then. I'm probably gonna wrap up the video here. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And like I said, there will be a video on Monday, hopefully, on my model kit. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Los Wadanya, comrades.